Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Voxel Twigget today. We are back with another episode of Stone Block 3. Today, we got a lot planned, and the first thing we are doing is we are going to kill that mother silverfish. And what we're actually going to do is I'm going to go, I got stuff with me, we're going to go and kill it four times. That is enough for all of the red matter armor. So, whoops. That is our first thing on our agenda today. Teleporting, woo! So, let's get this. This, this, and this. Perfect. And what we got here, we got all of our, we got our weapons, uh, we got our ring, our Archangel Smite, we activate this bad boy. It should just tear through. Sorry. Didn't mean to. Oh, an ultimate zombie? Whoa. Three star ultimate? Oh, man. That's crazy, bro. Um, well, actually, what we're gonna do instead is we are gonna. Because I'm sure that this still doesn't work out here. Yeah. Let's go back to the house real quick. And let's make a mega torch one two three probably don't need more than three let's go back put one here boop put one out here and we'll put one down here Cool. What are you doing, Ultimate Spider? Yeah, bet you didn't see that coming. What's that? What do we get? Belt of Unstable Gifts. You're just a regular punk ass spider. And in case you're wondering, we have, uh, I made a client start Omega and then we charge it. So this thing holds, I think, just under 52 million EMC stored. So lots of EMC. And that's what we're going to be using to take care of the mother silverfish. So let's, and boom. And then that should be what we need here. Whew, there it is. Tear it up. Is it cheeky? Is it cheesy? A little bit. Are we safe up here though? Yes. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Come on. Come on, little guy. Alright, and that used about 10,000 EMC. Let's get rid of these guys. Are you ultimate skeletons? You are. Get these guys. Let's go get let's go get our loot. Got the silverfish heart. Chekaruskis. Boom. Okay. Now we have gotten the silverfish heart. And then the next step is we can farm the silverfish heart with Drigme Charms and the uh, stasis chambers. We haven't started ours Nouveau yet, so we're not really in a position to do that. So I'm gonna kill it four more times myself. That way we can make our armor, and I'll see you guys back at the house. All right, we got our four silverfish hearts, and we are back home. 
So let's throw all of the stuff that we got in here. Perfect. Now, we'll click, let's see, Project E. Okay, so we need just a bunch of dark matter in our hearts, okay? And then our hearts. And then we want our wrench. Okay. So this is gonna be helmet. Right? No. It's gonna make me nope, nope, nope. Dark matter helmet. Yeah. Maybe. Go. Please. Huh? Okay. Okay, that's fine. We'll just dark matter. Okay, so this one's gonna be mechanical crafter. Okay. Okay, so if I go one, two, three, four, five, and that. Okay, <coughs> perfect. And then we'll get red matter. We'll get one of these. Got a sweet helmet. And then one, two, three, four, five. Look at us go. Okay, so that's the helmet. Next up is boots. So if I go like this, and then, nope, okay, got that, eh. okay, boots, perfect, killing it you guys. Those boots check. Next up is these easy peasy. Put those up there. That goes there, and then the chest is just. Or the same. Give me that. Pants. And there we go. All right. Put that there. Perfect. And then we'll put that there. And then we got the chest. And then we just gotta make the rest of our rings, and then we can make the gem armor. Ooh! Perfect. Which is right here, gem armor. Before we do, we'll fix all this quick. all these perfect 
Perfect. Okay. Now, put all this away. Gem armor. Okay, we need more Klein stars. How many will we need? One, two, three. We need four Klein star omegas. So for now, we can just make these. So it looks like we need two, three, three rings. Okay. Let's make a bunch of those. Make two of these. Make one of these. Need to make another watch of flowing time. Make this a body stone. A volcanic amulet. A soul stone. And an Evertide amulet. Okay. So now we just got to get another watch of flowing time and Klein stars. All right. Well, I'll go take care of that. That's just going to be some sequenced assembly over yonder. And then we will be good to go with that. See you guys in a second. All righty. So I think we got everything we need. So let's clear this. Make the helmet. All right. The Abyss Helmet. Press Shift plus X to toggle night vision. Okay. The Infernal Armor. Gem chest plate. Gravity Greaves. And the boots. Hurricane boots. Press X to toggle, toggle step assist. All right, so let's take all this off and throw this on. Whoa. Okay. And now... Whoa, that's... Why are we so fast? Holy crap. It's like doom. Okay. Um, is that the boots? I think it was the boots. I think the boots just make us super fast. X. X. Did I toggle it? It's disabled. I don't really want step assist. But we are fast. It's perfect. All right. All right. So we now... This armor was great, but now this is... All of our... This stuff is... Um, I believe the benefit of this is that it is... Gem armor is unbreakable, grants you the ability to fly, and is very resistant to damage. So it's basically the best armor we can get our grubby little paws on. So that's what we're going to do. Now, on to the second piece of business for today's episode... We, in between episodes, well, I was very busy getting our EMC productions up downstairs. And after this episode, um, the majority of this in here on the floor, all of this create stuff, is going to be going away. And I will not be able to break these with my current pickaxe, it seems. Okay. Do I have a pickaxe in here? No. Pickaxe. I think we probably need a diamond one. Can't can't break those. Okay. That's um do I will I need a red a dark matter pickaxe? Probably. Okay. Um Okay, looks like we're going back to fight this mother silverfish because I want to show you guys what the next step is, but I got to get rid of these. See you in a second. All right, now we're back. Learned some things along the way. One, our armor does not give us creative flight. It's like a jetpack, so it's super floating. So we definitely still want to keep our ring on us because that grants us the creative flight, which everybody loves. So what we're doing is we are taking out these red matter furnaces because we are not going to need them anymore and probably ever again. Now, we, we're not going to destroy them. We'll keep them because 
we are now going to be able to use EMC to solve all of our problems, even without having the um, transmutation tables. So, let's get this in here. Get rid of all these pipes. Still got to keep this one down here for the uranite because uranite does not have an EMC value, which is totally cool. We are going to want exporters. What are we missing? <gasps> Construction cores. Let's make some of those. Make some of those. And what we are looking for here is we already made some of them compressed refined EMC links. So if we look at these, it's refined EMC links, personal links, and then finally, yeah. So if we look at EMC link, the energy EMC link, you can use this block to add EMC to your transmutation table using collectors. The personal link is like the basic, but allows you to import and export items. The refined EMC link is the same as the personal, but it has an input and nine outputs, so it can be used to automate item storage for refined storage. And then finally, the compressed version is the same as the refined storage, but it just has 54 output slots. So, for example, if I were to throw this here, you can see we have 54 slots. And what we're going to do is we are just going to fill these up right here. And we're going to, ooh, hoo, hoo. we are fast. We're going to put these here. And now we're going to look for cables. And we should be able to just sneak a cable in. Right here. You see how it's like jetpacky? Okay, so first step complete. Now, what we're gonna do is if we come over here, all I think all of this stuff has an EMC value to it, okay? So if we were to come over here and be like, eh, let's start with the middle here. Like, what do we not have a lot of? We don't have, does this have EMC? It does. Amethyst Shard has, we have 2,500 of them, okay? So if I come over here and I put it here, perfect. Now, if I come into here, amethyst, it still says we have 2,400, but what should happen is anytime we have a recipe, now this can pull from our EMC with the exporter that we put on the back of there to get more of it, essentially. So let's see if we can't find something that we don't have a lot of. Or actually, maybe any of. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't think I have any kelp in here. No, I have... And how do I make a dried kelp? Or... Hmm... Let me get some of this. Let's let's test test it out. This is how it should work. So if I put kelp here, I should be able to say kelp. Kelp, maybe. Uh, what can I use kelp to make? Stew. Anyway, check this. This is this is here. It is ready. Left click is extract a stack. Right click is extract item, and then shift. Right click is clear slot. So if I left click, I can use our EMC to just get stacks of this. And so basically, what will happen is, as we're auto crafting, especially as we get into singularities, it will pull from our EMC to generate any item that we put in here. So what we'll end up doing is we'll end up taking all of these items and putting them in these EMC machines here. 
these refined EMC links so that as we set up our singularities, instead of pulling from our drawers, which I'm sure it will still, but it'll also pull from these to have a near infinite supply of those items, which is fantastic. So we're gonna go ahead and get that set up in between episodes and just put everything in them. And the way we are making it all work, is you can I've probably been able to tell from the top left-hand corner, we're getting what? How much is that? 100,000 million billion trillion, 2.1 trillion EMC per second right now, because we did have a little bit of fun downstairs getting everything set up with EMC. So let's go check it out. Yes. Look at it all. It's beautiful. Now, our neutronium collectors have been working hard. We got almost 6,000 neutronium ingots. And behind our glass wall here, you can see that we have mini fading power flowers. These are the top tier. These are the Mark 15s. Now, these are super great because they produce less EMC than the big versions than the full versions, but obviously they all fit on one block. So we have quite a few of our refined EMC links back here. Each of them is hooked up to one of our collectors. So if I were to bust this, you can see each of these generates 19 billion R EMC per tick or per second. So combined, they're doing some serious work. Now, I mean, if this ends up not being enough, once we get our singularities set up and things like that, we can cross that bridge. But for now, it is producing more than enough EMC, and I'm confident that we will have enough um, EMC for our singularities. But that is the plan, because now we'll be able to put everything in here, and we won't have to worry about storing items in drawers. We'll just have un essentially unlimited supply of items as long as they are in this. Because we're getting, like, the kelp has an EMC value of 1, amethyst is 32. Some things are higher, but if you just look here, like, hashtag EMC, all of these things, again, have an EMC value. So if we get into, as we get into other mods, and we're like, oh... I need more basic injecting factories, but I don't feel like crafting all these control circuits and chemical injection chambers. We could just put one of these in there, and then we can just pull it out when we need it. Easy peasy. It's perfect. So that is that is what the plan is. And then the only other thing that uh, I wanted to point out is this crafter has one row. However, if we look at the crafting manager... We have a lot of spaces for our uh, patterns because I have a lot more crafters behind here. And if you stack them behind each other, it creates one big crafter. And in the manager, you see it all as one inventory. So that way we can fit a lot more recipes in. But that is where we are going to wrap it up for today, you guys. I hope you like this episode. We got a lot done. We got the silverfish mother slain. We got our new fancy red matter gem armor and a red matter pickaxe. We are unstoppable. We got we got flight. We're indestructible. We are amazing. But if you liked the episode, hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below. And if it's your first time here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And as always, you guys, I am Voxel Twig, and I will catch you all next time. <laughs>